there's a whole tree <laughs> on this table. What's up, y'all? I hope y'all are doing good. I'm basically making this video because I've just been thinking about some stuff. I always like, I'm so freaking like, I just, I'm dramatic. I like to drag things out. I've just been thinking about some stuff. I don't see the tree enough. This is a dope tree, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. This tree, it feels magical. Alright, but yeah, honestly, I'm gonna cut straight to the point. I've been thinking a lot about bottom surgery. Um, just because last night, I was looking at a bunch of prosthetics, and then I ended up stumbling across this dude, a black trans man as well, and he was talking about his experience with bottom surgery and for some reason like it didn't it wasn't off-putting to me because a lot of times i'll see like a bottom surgery reveal or process and i'll be like it looks like a lot or like and i just like no like i'm not interested but for some reason i saw his and i was like hmm. i could see myself doing that And obviously bottom surgery is not like a new concept. Dude, I have allergies as well, by the way. My girlfriend told me to stay home because I look terrible. I, like my eyes are all puffy and stuff, but I look, I'm better now. Yeah, I had knew about bottom surgery since like I found out I was trans pretty much. Like I knew it was like a step you could take to minimize your bottom dysphoria or to get rid of it completely. So um, yeah, so I stumbled across this video and I was watching it and let me also preface the video was not what made me like actually want to get it um I had been like contemplating it before that but I just kind of it's it's kind of like with me I just I'm trying to avoid like surgery or like anything like that as long as I can just because for me this like I think it was the egg retrieval that kind of like scarred me but I'm trying to remind myself like that was also terrible because not only did I have surgery, I was off testosterone. So you know what I mean? Like it was the surgery recovery on top of being off testosterone. Cause for top surgery, it wasn't that bad. I was like, I, I kind of bounced back if I'm gonna be honest. Like I couldn't work out, but the fact that I had a flat chest, I was like, man, I'll work out later. Like I'm a heel. So I feel like with bottom surgery, that's kind of gonna be the, the move if they don't tell me to go off key. And if they do, I'm not gonna do it. Cause what the, I don't know when exactly I'm gonna go through with it. And I'm gonna specify what type of bottom surgery I'm talking about. I'm talking about phalloplasty, cause I honestly was heavily contemplating getting metoidoplasty, which is just like where they use the bottom growth I already have and just kind of elongate that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Add a little special effects. Um, but it's not like the full where they have to take a skin graft from your arm or your thigh. Um, yeah, so now I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not 100% on getting it, but I'm gonna heavily contemplate it because one of my options was I could go and buy another prosthetic because the one I have now is cool, but I'm just, I wanna try more and see like if another size or another company might fit better with me. And I'm in the back of my head, I'm kind of just like, bro, I'm getting tired of doing this shit. Like, having to constantly buy prosthetics and then not only that but i'm not happy with having to wear a harness and then i tried one adhesive and that shit falls off because the prosthetic i had is big so i was like okay let me downgrade if i do get a prosthetic which i, I might uh, just because I'm, I'm not gonna get bottom surgery anytime soon i think <laughs> but the prosthetic I, i'm gonna get um i'm looking for like something smaller or not even smaller but just not as heavy because the ones that I, I have are like literally over a pound so it's hard to adhere that to your body if it's a pound do you know what i'm saying because it's like gravity bro so yeah that's my biggest thing with prosthetics that i'm having issues with is just the fact that i don't like having to have like underwear or a harness on i don't like having to put that on and then go have sex like it kind of makes me think about the fact that i'm like you know having to add something to my body so yeah um as well i haven't talked to my doctor about fellow yet but um i'm gonna bring it up and it's also because i've just been bleeding um as we speak i literally am bleeding i have my period and i don't know why i keep getting it i've been on tea for like a minute now um i'm getting facial hair like my, i'm progressing like getting more masculine but it's like why am i still bleeding so 
if I were to get bottom surgery, that would eliminate the bleeding because I would have to get a hysterectomy, which they would close the hole that bleeds. And I think they would take out my ovaries so I wouldn't be able to bleed anymore, which I'm cool with because I don't like my period, bro. Um, so I'm honestly looking into it. I am just going to wait a bit because I know I'm young and I kind of don't want to mess with myself. I'm only 22, about to be 23. So... In my head, I'm aiming for like a 25 maybe when I'll go ahead and get it. But uh, as of now, I'm kind of just going to see. Because, you know, I may end up getting a prosthetic and finding a harnessless or a good adhesive that works. And I might be like, I'm chilling, you know, it works. Um, I can't really speak 100% for the long term. But I just know as of now, I am contemplating some other option besides just prosthetics. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm managing it. Like, my bottom dysphoria isn't terrible but i definitely i definitely notice it sometimes just like when i'm in the bed with my girlfriend and we're like cuddling and like i obviously you know i start kissing her and like i kind of i just want to be able to like get it going and i'm like damn i have to go get my harness put it on and, and get my get my thing and then you know what i'm saying like it's just kind of awkward and it kind of like makes me think about stuff that i don't want to think about um yeah, like stuff like that, bro. I just want to be ready on go. Like I want, I want my dick to be on me twenty four seven, and yeah, just be ready to go. Stuff like that. Um, there is times where, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like the prosthetic I have now it has like a pleasure pocket where you could put your your I could put my natural weenie in there, and it feels good. But then there will be times where I'm just like, I don't know. I want more. You know what I mean? Um, so it is what it is but to be honest the one thing that is saving me i'm not gonna cap is like getting head just because the sensation is so fire like it, the fact that i can get pleasure from like my natural body it really does something to me so like i said i'm not suffering but this is me now you know me 25 year old me i might be like i right, i've lived my life like this enough like i'm i want more and i'm able to get more so i'm gonna get more so yeah there's definitely a chance I'm gonna get bottom surgery in the future. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna put it off anymore because what really scares me about it is like the recovery, like I said, but bro, the fact that I'll have my own member and like I'll be able to have sex and you know what I'm saying, get hard, pump, you know, like fuck yeah, bro. Like that, that overrides the fact that I'm gonna be like kind of feeling like shit for a while. Um, it's only like a small chunk God willing, my, I don't have no complications. I, I'll be maybe I'll be back to it hitting the gym in like a month or two after the surgery. So and also, um, hundred percent, I would not get. I don't think I would get it on my the ALT phalloplasty, which is from your thigh. I probably would get um, RFF, which is where they take a graft from your arm, um, just because the one that comes from your thigh is like dummy thick and like. I kind of want more of like an average like you know what i'm saying i'll see for sure i i can't say for sure because i haven't talked to my like a surgeon um and then i do have hope for the future i feel like if i wait things will be better you know what i'm saying when my bread is up i could pay someone to do more research and things like that so i'm not gonna rush it because if i get it and then it advances right after i get it i can't just unget it <laughs> so yeah and what also made me like really really want it is because i saw the guy that i was watching i think his name is not zay i forgot his name but he got the implant it's a it's an implant that you put that they put inside your they put inside your dick and uh and into the balls as well so your balls you just um pump your balls like you like you squeeze your testicle like five ten times and it like gets your dick hard so that's how i would get hard obviously i'm not gonna be able to get hard like naturally so the implant would just like make it rock hard and then i'm able to penetrate like that so yeah bro we're gonna see what the future holds but i just wanted to say this because in the past videos i know i did say like oh no nah, i didn't want bottom surgery and it's because it's a big procedure but the more i've matured and like honestly bro if you want something you'll do what it takes like I used to be mad anti-plastic surgery like what the don't get that done but how i see it is like if it's gonna make you happy get it period but if you're getting it to fit like oh i want to be like them i want to be like 
I want to, you know what I mean? Like for the wrong reasons, then I don't, I don't promote that because you're not doing it out of necessity. You're just doing it out of like, fuck yeah, you know, like I wouldn't put myself at the risk of being able to die on a surgery table or have crazy complications if I didn't really want and need it. You feel me? Like I'm only even considering getting bottom surgery because I really, really know I'll be happy if I get it. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's not because I want a big dick. I want to be like a cis dude. Like, it's not even like that. Obviously, I don't even, it's not even me trying to be cis because I can't be cis. Like, I'm just trying to be my best self and feel good in my own body. You know what I mean? I'm not here like, I want a cis body. Like, I'm not, I'm not even, that's like me comparing myself to any other person, which is unfair. Like, I'm just trying to be Christian times a thousand. Like, I'm just trying to be my best self, period. So, yeah bro and this is not to push y'all to get bomb surgery or whatever what have you this is just me speaking my mind and telling y'all where i'm at now because again watch my videos bro i've came a long way i've been on t like transitioning for like four four almost five years i'm 20 about to be 23 and i got on t when i was 19 so yeah four years socially transitioned like a year or two before that so it's been like five years of me just like really understanding myself and like you know what i mean figuring out these questions and asking myself these things i didn't just wake up and like i'm gonna i'm gonna see about bottom surgery like no i literally put it off as long as i could i was like nah i'm not gonna get bottom surgery i'm not gonna get it i'm not gonna get it and i'm still like that right now i'm not gonna call my doctor today and be like yo set me up a call a consultation i want to get bottom surgery tomorrow like i could i literally if i wanted to i could literally get the process going and literally probably get bottom surgery by the end of this year or something but i'm not because i want to give myself time to think about it and try every other possible option and if it doesn't work all right but yeah the prosthetic that i'm looking at now though it's the i'm i'm leaning more towards imbecile because i've had a real magic the one the one i have now is literally in my backpack <laughs> the one i have now is um my real magic it's a real magic prosthetic and it's cool yeah it's cool the one I had before that was Emiso and I kind of like that better. I don't know. I just kind of like the whole vibe. And then the the production time ain't that long. So, hold on. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm probably gonna look at the Emiso ones. The only thing that's uh, deterring me from getting the Emiso one it's the ER05. It's called like the Pepperone Chini or something like that. Like I said, I wanted to downgrade and get like a smaller one because the ones I've had, I've only experienced like seven and a half inches and eight inches ones just because, like, you know, I'll, bro, honestly, it's because like I'm black and I feel like if I was cis, I would have like a big ass dick, but I don't know that. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I could have like a five inch or six inch genetics, but I don't know. Not that I know what the. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna try a smaller one and the, the one I'm looking at is about like five and a half inches So it's less heavy. So in my I might feel more connected to it Like when I'm stroking my girl, so I'll be closer to her. I won't be eight inches away I'll be like right there and I could just like pound town um, and the fact that it's not as heavy the maybe and I found this medical grade adhesive so maybe the adhesive will actually work and I will be able to have sex without a harness or anything. It'll just be attached to me. So if that works out, fire. And then the other one I was looking at is the banana prosthetics. Um, it's like three times less than the MSO, but honestly, I don't mind paying 500 bucks for a dick if it's gonna be like bottom dysphoria alleviating. Do you know what I mean? But the banana prosthetic one is like um, with the head coloring so that way it looks more realistic that one is 190 which is not that bad at all so i'm gonna see i'm not afraid to pay the five whatever for the mso but if the banana prosthetic one works better then i'll get that but yeah the one the reason i didn't want to get the mso one is because the one that i want the size of the weight is perfect but it like it's angled down so i feel like when i'm having like it doesn't it's not like all the way erect so i don't want to have to be like i don't want to have limp dick when i'm trying to have sex but then they, the other ones they have are like dummy hard-ons. So like if I want to like pack with it, if we're going out to eat and I know I'm going to try to fuck after, I don't want to be at the restaurant with a hard-ass dick. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find something that's like a semi-hard but not like droop down. So yeah, I'm going to see what's up though, y'all. Like I said, this is just me speaking my mind, trying to, you know what I'm saying, get it together and figure out what I want to do. So there's a bunch of kids coming. I feel awkward talking about this. So 
yeah hope y'all like the video hope i helped y'all uh i'm out